Hey friends, Megan here. So I just got off of another three day stretch at the hospital, working night shift. I've had about an hour of sleep, but I'm feeling okay. We come out to the property to hopefully get some work done, but they are calling for thunderstorms starting tonight and going into the next two days. But we went ahead and put up the tent, so hopefully it doesn't rain too bad. And then we're just gonna get done as much as we can. We're gonna hold off on pulling out like the chainsaw and stuff for right now, and instead work on other projects like cleaning up all that glass and stuff. We showed y'all in a previous video. I'll link that up here or down below if you haven't seen that yet. Oh my God, it's glass. And then we have a new machine for the home set that I can't wait to use and show it to y'all. This thing is really going to come in handy. I'm excited. We're going to pull it out, use it today, and see how it goes. I will show y'all that footage, so stay tuned. Yeah, glass will cut you. That's why we don't touch, right? Got you. It'll cut you. Got you. Okay, friends, this is our new toy on the homestead. Okay guys, I can feel the weather starting to turn, so I wanted to get a little shot of the progress I've made. I haven't made it to all this yet, but look, there's dirt here, actual dirt. I've gotten a dent in the glass, but nowhere near all of it. And I've got, these are 40 gallon, construction grade trash bags and I've got them each about half full and there's four of them so far. Progress guys. Being able to actually see dirt right here is amazing. So Kenneth's got almost one full brush pile done. Looks like he's moving on to the second to get as much done as he can before it starts to rain. The clouds are starting to look pretty dark. That's where we're at. I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting pretty windy here, which means the rain's probably moving in. So I'm gonna put y'all up while I get to work and do as much as I can before the rain starts coming down on us. I will check back in with y'all tomorrow and see how much more we got done and if we're able to get any work done tomorrow with the rain. Well, friends, it rained all night. It's been raining 
all morning and it's supposed to continue on for the next two days. Now I checked the weather before we come down here. I've been checking it in the last few days and we were expected rain Wednesday, but that was it. And the rain's just kind of moved its own way up. So we have the tent packed up. We have the truck packed up. We are done doing work on the property today. Instead, we are going to go try to do office paperwork for the property today. So go get our deed and the plat and then we're going to get a septic permit because i can't even get anybody to talk to me about composting toilets and gray water systems but the state of south carolina does allow alternative systems on a case-by-case -case basis so my theory is i go pay 150 dollars for a septic permit basically so somebody will talk to me i think we have to have it anyways we have to have it to build we have to have it to put in a driveway we have to have it to get an address it's a whole mess but it does not mean that we have to put in a septic a septic permit is good for five years it will give us authorization to put in for a building permit basically in south carolina everything relies on a septic permit so we're going to go ahead and do it today it's not quite how i wanted to spend the day but at least i will still be useful and hey it gives me an extra day to edit youtube videos for y'all maybe that'll keep me from coming down to the wire when i'm editing but you know i think we only have like one more week here in september to work on the property and then we are out for two weeks in October because we are taking all of my off days right there to go to the Homesteaders of America conference. Yes, we will be in Virginia. We have an Airbnb booked. We will be there for, I think, seven days. We're going to do the Homesteaders of America conference. We're going to go check out Polyface Farms. But I am super excited and can't wait to be there and can't wait to meet you. So, until then, let's get this fun paperwork done. Okay, so we went to the courthouse and I got the deed and the plat and then we went to go get the septic permit because you gotta have a septic permit to be able to get an address and a driveway. And the septic permit, they gave me a paper application and told me I had to fill it out, call a different number. They would tell me where I would submit it. I have to submit it. Once it's approved, then I can pay for it and then I can get the permit. Oh, so needless to say, that put a hold on those plans. It was not quite as easy as go fill out a piece of paper and pay $150 and get yeah. your permit. Of course not. Marlboro County seems to be getting pretty famous for that because we have had one issue after another. Everything seems to hinge on getting this septic permit. So that's fun. But in the process of doing all of this and trying to get everything done, uh, the rain went away for just a little bit and it's not really the sun come out. It's spitting and sputtering rain here and there. So I'm not going to be able to keep the camera out for too long because I don't want it to get wet. But we come back to the property and we're going to get as much done as we can while we're still here in town. So I'm going to get to work on this glass behind me. Kenna's still working on the brush. We're just going to see what we can get done. what we got to the landfill and then we're headed home. It's been 
quite the few days. But at least we got a little work done, so the entire weekend was not a waste. See y'all next time. Bye now.